and we're going to move on. All right? Let's move on. Let's rock. Phil, you want to hit some music? We got to get pumped. Real quick before we dive into it, Nick. Before we dive in, everybody, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, give us a follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We would greatly appreciate it. Are, <laughs> I feel like a fucking robot now. <laughs> it's, it's perfect every time. I'm leaning back in my seat so perfect. you can't see me out of the corner. Right also, in. everybody who is watching the live stream now, please share it. Um, it will be posted on Facebook, so please do that and get more people involved. Appreciate it, Nick. I see one comment that came in. Are you named Coke because you're so delicious? Thanks, Andrew John. Oh, wow. Man. Seducing you. Getting, flirt, <laughs> getting some flirty activity on the chat. Seduced by Freak a cougar. Ass. <laughs> Smooth ass. Seduced by a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, we're staying, at, we're staying on the West Coast again. This time, we're doing NFC West. We're going to preview this division. It might be the deepest division in the entire league. Actually, it probably is. Like, let's not kid around here. Uh, there's four teams that legitimately could make the playoffs or could win the division. It, I mean, it's it's unbelievable how these teams have built, and it should be this way for a while. So, first, I guess we have to start with division winner picks. I mean, unless you guys want to wait till the end of the segment for that, and we could preview all four teams first and state the case. Okay, yeah, it's up to that. you. Let's do that. So we'll hold off on that. Um, and also, we're going to touch on whether or not more than one team can make the playoffs. All right? So, same thing as last week, though. Fantasy notes when possible. And um, we're going to give some storylines. So, to start, we got the LA Rams. Big storylines this year. The Matt Stafford trade. The quarterback change. That could be huge for them. That's what everyone's banking on. Cam Akers out for the season. So, Daryl Henderson's the starting running back. That's a pretty big deal. Um, they added Deshaun Jackson. Not sure what that does. Maybe a deep threat that nothing opens things up. I mean, it's possible. You got to still respect. Yeah. It. He's gonna get He'll hurt in the first half. Yeah, yeah. yeah, after week three, he's yeah. gone. <laughs> you got to still respect the speed. Yeah, he got Tommy John when he signed his um, contract. <laughs> and then also, guys, something that's not getting talked about enough. They lost. They lost a lot of defensive talent on that number one overall defense and. They lost Brandon Staley, who was the defensive coordinator, did a phenomenal job. He got the head go coaching job with the Chargers. So, I mean, what do you think here? I want to hear your thoughts. What are you guys thinking? Because I think that they were the favorite initially, and then Cam uh, tore his Achilles, and then we've been talking a different tone since, I think. Well, it's been back and forth between the Niners and the Rams uh, as far as the favorites go. But, uh, yeah, I think the Rams are going to have a great year still. They got – the quarterback now in Stafford. He's an upgrade over Goff. They have Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Deshaun Jackson, Van Jefferson, Higby, like you alluded to. Um, I think Cam Anchors was a big loss, but at the same time, I think Daryl Henderson is going to actually play pretty well. Um, he, he can run the football. So uh, I'm not really worried about them, honestly. I think their defense is still there. They have Ramsey. They have Donald. And you think he's the best player in, in the league. So he could be. That's I said Mahomes is the best player in the league. But okay. Aaron Donald is a close second for me. Oh, my God. He's a close second. Okay. You're not going to like who I pick third either, by the way. I'll, I'll wait a minute. But. Please. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean. I, I'm I, not I, sorry. <laughs> I, I like the Rams this year. I think they're going to be in the playoffs. Um, I mean, they did lose a couple pieces on defense. So, but I still think they're going to be you know, one of the top teams in the NFC. Yeah, to echo what you said, um, I mean, Donald and Ramsey on defense, I mean, that goes without saying. They're both of them are – you have your leader on your defensive line, your leader and your quarterback – your cornerback. Uh, I think Matthew Stafford's going to have an awesome year. <clears throat> um, the the Cam Akers was a big loss, but with Daryl Henderson, I think you'll be able to s switch him out to do what he has to do. And, I mean, they still have Sean McVay who's a top coach in the NFL. So I'm not worried about those. I'm not worried about those losses to the point where I don't, where I think they're going to like totally regress. I'm probably right there with you guys. I do think that Cam Akers is a big loss, but the drop off um, Henderson as a second string back is as good as it gets. So my concern with Henderson is just if he could stay healthy because he has been injury prone and he's a smaller guy. So um, I know that they have another guy they're working in. Don't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, 
Listen to Nicholas Anthony. <laughs> Brady is better than Donald. Come on. Louder. Let me see this. Yo, sorry, Pops, but this isn't this isn't a contest for who's the greatest of all time. This is the the best player. This is about being the best in the league right now. This is the most dominant defensive force in the league, <laughs> hands down. Oh, this is about the guy that just won this his seventh Super Bowl, I think, with a new team. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna right. discount that's what the Bucks right. defense did that's too. That's right. I forgot. He's not the best player in the I league. I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, man. But How he's a goat. Absolutely. Goat. But that that's it. I'm I'm only giving you that. <sighs> That's it. And you just hold on. I got worse. You're going to be pissed in a few minutes. Carry right? on. Um, Matt Stafford, though, for those people who say, ah, he's got no playoff experience, you know, this and that, let's remind you guys of one thing, and, and this should be relevant based on what we just said about Tom Brady. This is a team game. The Detroit Lions have been fucking awful. Putrid. Embarrassing. Forever. Okay. <clears throat> This is the best organization he'll ever be a part of, probably, even with the defensive losses. But this is a team game. And Tom Brady, for as amazing as he was in the Super Bowl, that defense was the statement in that game. And I even said that was one of the calmest, coolest performances I've ever seen by a quarterback. It was just easy. It was just regular. But guess what? <laughs> yeah. the, defense, <laughs> regular. the defense stole that show. I just want to remind you of that. It's a team game. I, I, I understand that. He's not the best player in the league. I understand We're not that. making about that. Leadership matters. Oh, of course. Of course, that's but he's not the best a, player in the league. That's part of being the best player in the league. I'll take him, though, in any clutch moment, number one guy I want. Okay. Number one guy. If I'm fighting for my life, give me Tom Brady. I know that he's going to show up with, uh, you know, bazookas while everyone else is, you know, at the fight with knives, you know? So best ever. Um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty substantial quarterback upgrade that we see some people giving it love and we see a lot of people kind of knocking it based on what they paid for him. I don't know how you could do that. I mean, if you think you're a Super Bowl team, you go out and get your quarterback. So the ability has always been there for Matthew Stafford. But I'll, I will say one thing that does worry me about this team besides the, the changes on defense. The offensive line is iffy. I mean, you saw what happened when Andrew Whitworth went down last year. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he he doesn't miss games ever. I feel though he's literally what forty two. I think Stafford can negate that though. Well, I think Jared Goff couldn't overcome that. He should. I mean, he's got a quick release and he's a better decision maker without question. But still, Stafford is a guy who's gotten hurt in his career too. I mean, he he's taken some hits, and this is the blind side we're talking about. Yeah. And that's not even where I'm worried. I mean, yeah, is he getting up there in age? Sure, he could still play, but the line as a whole is iffy. Um. You guys got anything to add on the Rams, though? No, nah, I think they'll be a playoff team. I think so, too. Possibly Mike, division yeah, winner, but we'll yeah, get we'll, there. Yeah, we'll talk about we'll that. Get there. Mike, you think they're a playoff team, though? Yes, definitely. Okay. So, 